Shall we play a game? Hello everyone and welcome to Vintage Gaming Memories. We're jumping right into this one. So this item is not quite considered a vintage game, but it's a vintage memory. And the only reason I picked this up is because it ties in with the vintage audio video systems that I have. And being that it's from Mattel, which is one of the biggest handheld game makers, I thought I could justify this. But don't worry, I won't be doing videos on things like a vintage Fisher-Price corn popper toy or anything like that. I'm going to stay in my lane, which really consists of Atari, vintage handheld games, and I guess you could say vintage electronics, which is pretty much a catch-all. So anyhow, in this box is a 1970, well, 70-71, I think the manual says 70, Mattel Instant Replay Record Player. And it comes in its original box and with 10 records. Let's open it up and see if this brings back any memories for you. Alright, actually that box contained more than just this item in there. I forgot that the seller and I negotiated on a bundle. And there were some other cool things in there, which I'll have another video on those because those take uh, a whole video on themselves. They're pretty cool handheld games that were hard to find. But getting back to this, this Instant Replay Record Player by Mattel. So what is this, right? Well, this is a battery-operated, 1D size battery, record player that plays these 2.5 inch records, which will produce a 30 second recapped highlight tied to the person or the subject on that record. Now there were two versions of this record player produced by Mattel. There was this blue one, which you'll see in a second, and there was a red one. Now the blue one is the original one that came out in 1970 and the red colored version came out a year or so later and it had a handle. Now this original one here it says it comes with four records. It's Lou L. Cinder aka Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Willie Mays, Bart Starr, and The Rail Dragster. I think there is, from what I remember, three of these are included with the ten Records. I think the Willie Mays one is missing, which is okay. You might have guessed this is a sports themed item, and when you want to buy more records, you could purchase them in packs of four. And they have sets in baseball, basketball, football, hockey, and then speed machines. And the hard ones to find are apparently are the hockey ones and the double sided ones. Now, I recall seeing the pictures that none of these are double-sided, so they're not the rare ones, but that's quite all right. I think there is over 50 records that were produced, and I haven't found a true source that would list all of them. I found some forms that people were just trying to list them from what they could find on eBay, and there's quite a few of these. Not sure if I'll end up collecting these, but um, it's a good start with the 10 I have. First, let's just actually see if they work, because this is plastic records. A two and a half inch disc as far as the diameter goes and we're looking at 50 years old who knows if they even work but I do know the player does work just the records may be pretty scratched up let's examine this box first before we open it up I like this uh, <laughs> 70s child that outfit I think I've worn that once or twice in my lifetime and you can see him listening to the uh, replay of something um, football related so it says here, here play-by-play -play sports action, and this one, like I said, features Lou Alcindor, Willie Mays, Bart Starr, and the Rail Dragster. Exclusive picture on each record, operates on one D-sized battery, not included. And then here is the affiliation of what sports you'll see on there. And I don't see hockey, so I think I read about that. Um, i be kind of curious to see which hockey players that would have uh, highlighted on. But anyways... Um, that's pretty much it for the box. So let's open this up and see what's inside. Instructions are on the inside cover. So there are the different um, collection albums you can get in the four packs. Speed Machines, Basketball, Football. Coming soon, they have some other uh, individuals for the sports of football and baseball. And again, I don't see hockey. 
But anyways, um, oh, here's the 1970 reference I saw from Mattel about this version. Uh, let's see what else we have in here. These must be the records. You've got Dick Butkus, probably my top three favorite football player of all time. Probably because I'm biased with being from Chicago. And here's the back side. Let's see how it looks. The grooves in there. I mean, I don't know. We'll see if this even works. I'm, I'm trying to be optimistic. You got John Brody here from the 49ers. Bart Starr from the Packers. Gail Sayers, another great bear. Daryl LaMonica. Looks decent there. Merlin Olsen, pretty cool. John Mackey. The Juice, no comment. Luel Cinder, like I said, Kareem Abdul Jabbar, otherwise known as. And then the AA Rail Dragster. All right, let's look at the player. So it's seen better days. I mean, this is supposed to be white, not brown. I don't know if I can get that back to its original color. Same with the Mattel logo here. But the case itself is in good condition, the strap as well. I mean, this is just like plastic. And this is where you insert the uh, record. Let's see if I can pull this thing out. Here's the battery compartment. Really clean. Even has a uh, sticker on there for, I don't know what that means. But anyways, I know this can come, well, I don't want to pull this out. Let's just put the battery in and let's test this first before I start playing around with this. Because it's supposed to work and I don't want to wreck it. Let's make sure it works here. Now that I'm looking at it. And you can see it's been ripped here a little bit. So I don't want to play around with that. Um, and then here it says replay. So once you insert the record, I suppose I will then be able to push this to play. And then this says reject. Not eject, but reject <laughs> on this side. So let's give this a try. Let's put a uh, D-sized battery and see if this works. One D-sized battery. There's not like an on and off or a volume on here that I can see. So I'm kind of curious as to how loud this will be. I guess here is where you can hold your, your records to store them. Not many, but you can store some. So the battery goes in this way. So let's try the dragster. And it says here to push the record with the grooves facing the speaker. So this way in. You can hear it. Let me reject it. Um, let's try another one. Let's see if it's better quality. We'll do the Lou L. Cinder. Pretty cool. 
That one sounded pretty decent. I'm not sure how it comes across on the camera. Um, let's let's do Dip Buck Kiss. That's my favorite. So, you know, it's interesting because you would think that you might be hearing their voices, which it's not. It's just a recording of um, someone speaking the highlights of a play or a situation with that individual that's on the record. Still, it's, it's still pretty cool. I mean, think about it. 1970, 1971, as a kid, you get this little record player that's portable, and you can play a clip, if you're a big sports fan, of something you want to just relive again of hearing the commentating of the particular highlight for that individual. Um, let's see what Gail Sayers would be. I mean, he didn't really play, neither did, did Buckus on any good Bears teams. So... Yeah, just some good running plays. The juice, well, do I dare put this one in? <laughs> Let's hear it. I mean, I can hear it. I can make out what he's saying. Let's, um, let me try to clean this thing up. Let me just see if I can get the color back, which I doubt. And I don't know if I really want to open this up, but I just can't help it. I need to see what's inside. So I'll be right back first with the cleanup. Well, I went ahead and cleaned it up really nicely. It was already cleaned pretty good. Uh, not much to do with that, but I don't think I'm going to mess with this, to be honest. It sounds really good, at least on this side of the camera, and no need to take it apart. Not yet. Now, these records, I'll have to do some research on seeing how I can clean these up better, if that makes a difference or not. But, um, you know, will I collect these? I don't know. Comment down below and let me know if any of you have owned this, or maybe currently own it. What I'll probably end up doing is maybe playing each one of these for you at the end here. Figure 30 seconds each. We have 10 of them, so 5 minutes. If you don't want to hear all that, you could skip through it. But I thought it'd be kind of cool to hear each one of these in its full entirety. And then uh, go from there and see if I'll ever collect more of these. But for now, I'm happy to have this player from 1970-71. And these 10 records to go along with it. All right, let's start playing these. Let's start with uh, Daryl LaMonica. Did Buckus. John Mackey. Gail Sayers. Yeah. 
Lou Alcinder. Bart Starr. John Brody. Double A Rail Dragster. Merlin Olson. And the last one is O.J. Simpson. Well, that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It's, again, a pretty cool item. I don't think um, it's as unique as it may seem. I do see a lot of these on eBay. Maybe not so much the record player itself, but I do see a lot of the records being sold. Some even in the original package, not open. So they're there to be found. But hopefully this brought back memories for some of you, and for others, just pure entertainment. Don't forget to subscribe, and remember, keep your gaming passion from the past alive by living it today. Take care, everyone.